We know we've got a good enough team here. We know we've got a very motivated team. There's a lot of players here that are really keen to participate in the game, which is great for us as management um, and very, very good for the concept. Um, we've had coach players ask their coaches to play in it, you know, uh, and the coaches have been very supportive and I'm appreciative of it. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a great concept. I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger over the, the next few years. Um, yeah, pretty excited to, to make the squad. Um, yeah, you know, these types of camps and you know, boys from all different teams, you know, playing with the best players, it's always a lot of fun and, um, you know, great for the spectators. And how's it all been coming together in there? You know, boys, a lot of these guys are sort of the young lads in the Exiles team now and not played together very much. How's it all coming together? Yeah, it's good. There's a, they've stuck a couple of old blokes in there as well to, um, to bring the average age up. Um, but yeah, there's some, you know, some great young, talented guys here. It's, um, you know, it's just a, a privilege to play with them, I suppose. And, you know, you're Super League's oldest player and uh, just sneaking in these extra games, you, you know, you, you can't get enough rugby league. No, I'm really enjoying it. It's um, you know, a great place to be over in Perpignan at the moment. The um, yeah, team's going along well. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of the icing on the cake, I suppose, to make, um, you know, to make these teams. Um, so yeah, so looking forward to it, and um, you know, there's there's no age limit on, on these types of things. So it's, I'm lucky for that. Look, the, uh, probably the the difference, uh, not the difference, but one thing we have been able to do is is select players in form. Uh, Salford are in form at the moment. You know, uh, Hulk are in form. Um, Catalans are in form. So we've got a number of players from form teams, and um, form is good because that means you've got confidence. And we also probably the biggest plus for us, we get our captain back, Brett Hodgson. Um, desperate to play in the game in one but couldn't. Um, dead keen for game two uh, and he's he's got a serious head on him ready to go so getting the captain back is a huge plus for us. I mean, I'm proud to represent you know, both Australia and New Zealand and, and the players over here in general you know, playing against England. And, um, you know, when the, the concept was first arisen you know, late last year I was thrilled to be a part of it and as I am still to this day. And uh, like you say, there's a lot of new players come together. How, how does it come in this short camp forming almost uh, a new set of players? Yeah, it's going to be tough because, you know, less time to gel and, and work on what we need to do. But uh, we'll have a couple of good sessions out there. We've got all the trust in Daniel to, to, to run us through what we need to do. And um, the quality of play here is very, very high. And, uh, you know, it's, as I said, everyone wants to be here. Everyone wants to be involved and, and play to their potential. And uh, should we do that, I'm sure it'll be a very close contest. Yeah, there is uh, a lot of great players, mate, uh, and especially this game, a lot of young boys as well. But um, no, it's good to uh, welcome Labiva back. Uh, he's back playing, but no, it's it's. Uh, I think it'll only get bigger and better. I think um, I think this, uh, everyone's just going to get behind it. I think it's a it's a great opportunity to um, to test England, and um, and on, on the back of that. England will get better and uh, you know, the Super League will get better and we could, uh, you know, we might, might even take down the Aussies or the Kiwis at the end of the year and, and the, uh, you know, and the Four Nations and all the World Cup and stuff like that. So, you know, we're working that. We're help, actually trying to help the English. Like, you, you, you actually want them to do better against the Aussies and the Kiwis because, you know, we actually play over here and, you know, um, you, know you, you spend a lot of time with the English boys and the kids and uh, really start to enjoy it here. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere around the Exiles game, obviously the English guys are putting the English uh, team, but there's a lot of sort of Bradford fans, if they came down to the game, surely they'd be back in uh, the Exiles with uh, the captain at, at the helm. Uh, definitely not. No, no, no. I've been getting uh, tweets about it, just saying that, uh, no, 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 uh, well done on making it, but no, we're going for the English. So. No, it's just fair enough. Uh, it's good that they're, uh, they, they, they want their country to win and get behind them, but... No, there'll be a lot of fans out there for us as well. So. Working with players you don't normally work with, is it something you can take new skills from, new things that you learn from, from some of these older guys? Yeah, mate, definitely. I looked up to them when I was younger and to play with them now is awesome. So everything I can learn, I get out of it. I mean, the likes of uh, Brett Hudson, Steve Menzies, these guys, you know, sort of Australian heroes really, aren't they? And uh, it must, must be a great honour to play in the team. Right? Yeah, mate, it's pretty, pretty bit, uh, bit of a buzz and yeah, to play outside Beaver and it's awesome, so looking forward to that. Uh, coming to the, to the Wednesday game, how, how do you see it going? I mean, first run out there, is it, is it looking like it could be an Exiles win? Yeah, definitely, mate. We, um, we always go into the game thinking we're going to win, so we've done some good training out there, so hopefully we put that into the game. And what sort of sort of rugby do you think this, this team's going to play? I know last time there was a lot of big forwards in the team. Uh, 
looks like a bit more of an attacking back line in this one. Yeah, mate, hopefully we get the ball around, pass around, because there's a lot of good, uh, great players out wide and that, so hopefully we get a bit of ball and yeah, do our stuff.